A common cause of a double bubble is that which can occur in those women that have a very short distance from the nipple to the lower breast fold or a tight breast base. In these cases, I always use the most advanced techniques and make the necessary adjustments to the breast tissue, muscle, and use the optimal implant size and style to minimize the risk of a double bubble. The necessary surgery requires an incision to be placed below the breast fold. After the appropriate implant is inserted, you'll note that the original breast fold is now sitting along the lower breast curve. Initially, this region remains tight and causes a flatness or indentation. This indentation is the double bubble. Over time, as the breast tissue softens and the implant settles, this double bubble typically resolves, resulting in a smooth lower breast curve. However, sometimes due to a natural persistent tightness at the site of the original breast fold, this double bubble remains. Women that have a very tight lower breast fold and a greater amount of breast tissue are at a greater risk of developing this.